in this question x minus 10 is equals to 15. If I want to find x, I need to get rid of this minus 10. I need to be left with x equals to some quantity. So if I'm subtracting 10 from x, then what I need to do is the exact opposite operation in order to remove that. And if I do that, I have to do the same thing to this side as well, to the right-hand side. So I'm going to minus 10 from the 15 as well. If you minus the same quantity from both sides, actually, that's not what I did. I added 10. Okay, so if I add 10 to both sides, it won't change the equation. Let me show you an example of this. Let's say that um, I have 10 is equals to 8 plus 2. Now what if I added 10 to this side? Of course, this 10 plus 10 is equals to 20. This was only equals to 10. So my 8 plus 2, if I want to keep that the same as the other side, I would also have to add 10. This now would be equals to 20. So if you want to maintain the same relationship, 10 equals to 8 plus 2, which is just 10. Now if I add 10, 20 equals to 8 plus 2 plus 10, which is also 20. If you want to maintain this true relationship, then you have to do the same to both sides. We've done that here. We've added 10 to both sides. We've done that so that we can say negative 10 and positive 10, those will cancel each other out and just leave us with x equals to some quantity. And that quantity is 15 plus 10, and 15 plus 10 is 25, and so that gives me my answer, which is d, 25.